truth about potassium iodine. What is potassium iodine? Potassium iodide is a salt of stable, not radioactive iodine. Stable iodine is an important chemical needed by the body to make thyroid hormones. How iodine works following a nuclear event, radioactive iodine may be released into the air and then be breathed into the lungs. Radioactive iodine may also contaminate the local food supply and get into the body through food or through drink. When radioactive materials get into the body through breathing, eating, or drinking, we say that internal contamination has occurred. Because non-radioactive KI acts to block radioactive iodine from being taken into the thyroid gland, it can help protect this gland from injury. KI cannot prevent radioactive iodine from entering the body. KI can protect only the thyroid from radioactive iodine, not other parts of the body. KI cannot reverse the health effects caused by radioactive iodine once damage has occurred. KI cannot protect the body from radioactive elements other than radioactive iodine. You should not use table salt as a substitute for KI. KI may not give a person 100 protection against radioactive iodine. When should I take KI? After a nuclear event, local emer emergency management officials will tell the public if KI or other protective actions are needed. For example, public health officials may advise you to remain in your home, school, place of work or to evacuate. You may also be told not to eat some foods and not to drink some beverages until a safe supply can be found. How much KI should I take? According to the FDA, the following doses are appropriate to take after internal contamination with radioactive iodine. Adults and women who are breastfeeding should take 130 mg. Children between 3 and 18 years of age should take 65 mg. Children who are adult size greater than or equal to 150 pounds should take the full adult dose, regardless of their age. Infants and children between 1 month and 3 years of age should take 32 mg. Newborns from birth to 1 month of age should be given 16 mg. How often should I take KI? A single dose of KI protects the thyroid gland for 24 hours. Public health officials may tell you to take one dose of KI every 24 hours for a few days. You should do this only on the advice of the emergency management officials, public health officials, or your doctor. Taking a higher dose of KI, or taking KI more often than recommended, does not offer more protection and can cause severe you should not take KI if you know you are allergic to iodine. You have certain skin disorders such as dermatitis, herpetiformis, or urticaria vasculitis. In all cases, talk to your doctor if you are not sure whether to take KI.